Alright, welcome back to the Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader Beta. This is episode number two. Let's get to our journal and read what we just got. Um, the officer's deck is under attack by an unknown enemy. So Arch Militant Mort has left to clear the way to the elevator leading to the upper deck. The officer hasn't returned yet. So it's time to find out what has caused the delay. Victory awaits. So we gotta go up here. Am I right? I have a tool that will allow me to check the size of the distance problems that are out of box contact, but we have to wait for more results first. None shall stand in my way. Yeah, the icon on the map is up here. Follow my lead. It's over here. Oh, there's still crap going on here. We gotta go to the officer's deck. I think we're all in that, so. This massive golden structure never stops moving for a moment. Light bounces off the orbits and represent celestial bodies. We shall prevail. I'll lay claim to the stars. Oh, that's... okay, that's what that is. Victory I've been thinking that was a quest mark for the past half hour. Going the right way, I just kind of lost my lost my direction there, but I think we found our way back. Thank Providence, you were alive and well. Always on time, eh, Conrad? The moment we finish chasing the riffraff around the deck, you show up. Always just after the fighting done. You should let your chrono buy it. 
More? Pull yourself together. What? Did the Lord Captain send you to chivy us along? We're all done here. I'll report right away. Master whispers what is happening on my ship. The Vox is silent. The Vox Master is not responding. Harmed assailants have stormed the officer's deck, and my arts and just destroy destroyed several more heretics on the way here. It's a severe case of warp madness as some of my crew lost their minds and forgotten who they are and whom they serve. Report. I have not yet received word from the Engineerium regarding any Jeller field failures, but communications were already unstable half an hour ago, and now they have ceased altogether. Whatever the cause may be, the consequences are spreading fast. I am receiving scattered reports on the middle decks, and the only Vox casts from the lower bays are one way heretical gibberish that the madmen have already reached the officer's deck to just the outrage was planned in advance. Perhaps this is an organized mutiny. Mutiny, but who would attempt a mutiny here in the warp? Lunatics. Fools. Heretics. This ship houses thousands upon thousands of people. Pernicious thoughts and warped induced delusions could have tainted any one of them. It's a difficult notion to accept, but such risks are inescapable. First, we have to confirm that the bridge and the navigator's sanctum are secure, and I have the means to do both things at once. Edelfed, where is he? I must know if he's unharmed. A psyker aboard a ship that is potentially being assailed by the warp could pose a greater threat to himself and others than a whole army of man men with improvised weapons. I tried to locate him, but the one last thing known about his movements is that he arrived on from additional deck 18. Blast it! Master of Whispers find Eel threat immediately. Cena Scow, locate class and the Sister of Battle. Both are to remain at my side. Arch Militant, with me. I must go to my study. And it appears that we might encounter heretics along the way. Saren. If I may, Lord Captain. The additional deck 18 is at the heart of the disturbance, and if our goal is to bring all Aether back, I could use some support. After all, I'm not as adept at directly confronting enemies of the house as the esteemed Arch Militant and taking into consideration Edo Thread's Psyker powers. While Lord Captain and... Okay, well, I'm not done yet. And then it's settled. Settle, Saren, find Edo Thread and return here in any state. This elevator leads to a tricky compartment such as my personal chambers in the bridge. Do not let me down. I require you both. Do you understand? In any state, what does that mean? <clears throat> we are in the warp. Considering the attack, there could be a disruption in the Jeller field and the infiltration of malevolent forces onto the decks. Psychers might react to them in the most unpredictable ways. Enough, you Master Whispers must not allow my air to turn into a mindless mutant and a perishment forces fire. Do anything but bring me back Edo Threat. I hear and obey, Lord Captain. Then move out, port, come. Are you ready to head 18? Are you ready to head 18? It's a long walk and you don't even have proper gear. I'll make two. Uh, of course she will. Lady Theodora would never have someone she couldn't rely on as one of her heirs, but that is no longer relevant. With a pop and a sharp crackle, something hit you in the abdomen. You were consumed by vulner unbearable, gut-wrenching pain. Oh, he killed me. I promised you a special destiny, Sarah, and it's time to fulfill it. Or he didn't kill me, he just knocked me out a little bit. Well, 
It's a heck of a story. So far. Careful, careful. Be gentle with our guest. He has an important mission to complete during our visit to the Warren Chamber. And for that, I need him breathing. You're back with us, I see. Delightful. Voids veer you, two-faced scum. You were the one behind this mayhem. How perceptive of you, Sarah, and I will help you with the next insight. I need you here for your blood. You have the option to share it voluntarily, or I'll squeeze it out of you myself. We are in the anteroom room of the Warren Chamber, this void ship's most hollowed vault. There, beyond those gates, lies the relic that gives Theodore all of her power, the sacred warrant of trade. Only one obstacle remains on my path to obtaining it. The gates of the chamber are guarded by the Sentinel, an ancient device that will only open the door to a true heir of the dynasty. I expected to do this part myself, but never mind. You will offer your blood to the Sentinel. What is it, inbred? Is your blood too thin for the sentinel? Ooh, inbred, nice. On the contrary, you, the work blessing has raised me too much above your kind, Von Valencius. The sentinel refuses to submit to me, but you can help after all. Isn't that what family is for? Uh, what sorry, pathetic excuse do you even have for your apostat apostasy, you sordid? Wretched Groxy. Wretched? What do you know about wretchedness, Theodore's Kerr? Are you hoping to buy a grain of her indulgence with her blind loyalty? Oh, I know this delusion, but thank the gods that it no longer has power over me. Humanity can rot. I no longer serve mortal kind. Once my work is done, I'll make that pompous wench von Valencius watch as I erase the entire dynasty chronicle and I commit the fate of the bloodline into the hands of the warp gods. And you, Saren? will be one of the instruments by which I accomplish this righteous act. The blade flashes in the dim light, and drops of blood appear in your palm. For a brief moment you feel nauseous, your head is spinning, and then quiet whispers begin to flood your mind. More and more sources' voices echo each other, trying to get your own thoughts, replacing them with a singular urn. Go. To. The gate. Go. To. The gate. Go. To. The gate. Get out, I'm not your puppet. The voice in your head persists in there, man. And yet you feel this unseen chorus momentarily waver over the under the strength of your resolve until the intruding influence forces you to your feet and pushes you toward the gate, looming at the center of the chamber. In the arch, in the gateway arch, you see a cogitator with a human likeness built into the front panel. As you approach, the torso twitches slightly. This is a servitor, an obedient automaton created from a lobotomized human being. The sentinel turns his head to you, one of its eye sockets lighting up with two ember-like irises. Examine the device. You carefully inspect the design of the gate cogitator. What immediately catches your eye is the strange alloy that you was used as a material for the machine component, some of which are unfamiliar to you. You suspect that you are looking at a technological relic known as Archaeotech. The servitor on the gate begins to move. With a screeching and groaning of metal, it leans forward, closer to you. His lower jaw opens with a drawn out shriek, much wider than the jaw of a living human could. The servitor's mouth is smooth, filled with sharp metallic fangs that glint in the dim light. The vid screen to the right of you lights up, showing strings of mysterious symbols on a green background. A whisper runs through your consciousness, insisting, demanding sacrifice. The voices that filled your head before after Void Sphere wounded you with his blade do not go away. On the contrary, they're forced to coil themselves into a tight knot somewhere in the depths of your mind. The servitor looks noticeably different from the ones you're used to. Copper thread stitches its skin. The joints are replaced by metal hinges. It seems that the creators of the Sentinel did everything so that the work resort of their work would serve much longer than the ordinary working automatons. Place your hand at the Sentinel Mall. Fine. The Sentinel's jaws clamp around your hand, puncturing your skin and sinking into your flesh. 
A few dark drops fall into the servitor's throat and immediately hear humming as the servo motors start up with the pumps turn in motion. The vid screen of the cogitator flickers. Several long minutes pass, the sentinel jaws remain closed and you're beginning to feel sick. Perhaps if you were to lean against the gate, you could catch your breath, maybe even close your eyes and pretend none of this ever... High levels of calls to humors, the subject is in a state of heightened stress. You require assistance. You do not understand where this quiet voice is coming from. Crackling like static. Is it the signal? The cogitator? Is it a figment of your weary mind? Where, whichever it is, you can clearly hear every word. I must have lost my mind. Request accepted. Initiating defense protocol. Turret! Great! Well, there's still another way. Run away like a sissy. The Warren Chamber has opened the door for the night of the air. It's time to make sure the sacred Warren of Trade is safe. And I think that's a good point to wrap up. If you enjoyed this episode of Warrior 40k Rogue Trade, make sure to leave a like on it, subscribe, turn on the Ah, man, I read through that way too fast. Subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I will see you next time for another episode of the Rogue Trader Beta.